welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna from Actually Anna and today I'm going to show you a makeup look using a face mask. So in the Netherlands recently they asked everyone to wear a face mask if they go to a public place. And I can imagine that uh, with your makeup look you're like, well, half of my face is covered so how uh, can I do my makeup or do you have any tips for doing your makeup with a face mask? So that's why I decided today to do a makeup tutorial for a makeup look with a face mask. So it's gonna accentuate your eyes and make your eyes look brighter. So if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get a notification when a new video pops up. Also if you have any questions for me leave them down below so I can answer them and if you have any recommendations or for products or videos that you'd like to see um, then also leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can make those videos. But without, without further ado Let's get into the makeup look. So I put you a little bit closer so you can see better what I'm doing. So I'm first gonna start with the uh, with a primer and this is a, a hyaluronic primer because I feel like whenever I, I have the chance I need to moisturize my skin. So I also do that when I start a makeup look and this is from Indica. This is a certified organic pure primer with hyaluronic acid. So I take a little bit on my hand and I am gonna spread this all over my face. So because when you wear a face mask, I found that um, it covers up your skin, obviously, but it also like protects your skin from breathing or, or like it's, it's harder for your skin to breathe anyway. So what I like to do is put a very light layer of base and not a very thick layer of foundation because it's already, the face mask is already preventing your skin from breathing properly. So I don't want to cover it up anymore with a thick foundation. So I am going to use the Revlon Candid Photo Ready uh, Concealer and I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes, uh, around my nose, a little bit on my chin and my forehead, just to the regular spots. And I'm going to spread this using my uh, fingers. There we go, so we spread it out and it just lightens up the more darker areas of your face so you get a light and uh, awake look. Now I am going to uh, powder the places that I put concealer on just a little bit and give the rest of my face a little bit of a powder as well. This is a powder foundation from Inica. This is the baked mineral foundation in the shade Grace. So what I'm gonna do is I take a little fluffy brush, I'm gonna lightly tap it and I'm just gonna swipe it underneath the eyes and around the nose just where I put the concealer just on my forehead and as you can see I'm starting from the base and then I'm spreading it out over my face so I don't get any like a lot of powder on the perimeter perimeters of my face just a bit on the t-zone I'm also gonna put a little bit of powder on my eyelids because we're gonna wear some eye makeup today when that's done I am gonna put a little bit of color back on my face for the bronzer today I'm using the Model Co bronzer and a very big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna tap it lightly and I'm gonna put it on the high points of my face where the sun would naturally hit my face as well. With a very light hand, like you're dusting it. I'm also gonna do that on the jawline and a little bit on the neck, at least the part that's sticking out of my jumper. For blusher today, I'm using a pink blusher. It's a Key Largo blush from uh, Emani. And I'm using a blush brush from Emani as well. This one is a very, very strong one. So I'm slightly dipping it into the blusher. Just wiggle the brush a bit and then I'm gonna smile. I'm gonna start on the apples of my cheeks and drag it onto around my eyes, just as a little bit of a C shape. That's the blusher done. See that I put a little bit too much on, so I'm gonna use the fluffy brush that I used to put the powder foundation on to slightly spread it a bit. Like I said, this one is a strong blusher and I still make the mistake of putting too much on. Now for a highlight, I am gonna use the Pixie and ha from Head to Toe Highlight in Glow You Powder. The Glow You Powder in the shade Fetch. This is a very nice golden shade and you only need the tiniest bit. So I'm using a fan brush 
dipping it in and I'm putting it on again the points on your face that the sun would naturally hit you top of your collarbones a bit around your brow a little bit of a bigger C as where you put the blush the top of your nose like the bridge of your nose a little bit on the brow bone and on the cupid's bow this is the base uh, for our makeup now for the eyes of course because the face mask is uh, covering like half of your face uh, we're gonna accentuate the eyes a little bit more and for that one for the eye look i'm gonna use the desert nine eye color palette from and other stories i am choosing this one because i have blue eyes and this eye color palette has a lot of uh, natural shades also a lot of glitters but a lot of natural shades that would really accentuate my eye color because I have a blue eye color, the bronzy and uh, pink colors would naturally uh, accentuate my eyes. More the bronzy shades though, I have to say. I would always recommend if you want to accentuate your eyes to use a contrast color in the color wheel. So I'm gonna start with a base color, which is this one. It's a very light, um, light color and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. Just to put a base there. I know we've already powdered it, but just uh, as a base so the other colors would lay a bit more, like a bit better over on top of it. And now what we want to do is uh, deepen up the crease a little bit with a slightly deeper shade, like a darker one. And I'm going to use this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the outer corner and drag it a little bit into the uh, crease. So we deepen up the eye look. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna drag it up so I don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna take a more like a smaller brush and I'm gonna take this dark shade here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it along the lash line and a bit into the outer corner so we deepen up uh, the outer corner even more. And again, we're gonna blend upwards so we don't have any harsh lines. What I'm also gonna do when we have the detailer brush in our hands is I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on the lower lash line, just on the outer side, on the like outer uh, part of the eye. So it completes the whole look. So now it's a bit balanced what we have on our lids and below our eyes. There's one more thing I wanna do besides throwing my brushes on the ground. <laughs> And that is, I want to take this lighter color, it's a bit of a shimmery color, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of my eye. And what this does is it makes your eyes brighter and bigger, and we look more awake. And since our eyes is the only thing that's showing on our face when we have the face mask on, I thought it would be a nice finishing touch. And our eye look is not finished without any mascara, and for this look I would really recommend using a uh, eyelash curler because it just makes your eyes brighter, it makes your eyes bigger, it makes your eyes appear more open. With your face covered, like half of your face covered, you really want to accentuate your eyes. So I would really recommend using a eyelash curler. And now I am going to use the Scandalize Volume On Demand from Rimmel. This is a mascara which is going to make your eyes like bigger, longer, which is really what we want in this um, for this makeup look. I'm going to grab my mirror a little bit closer so I can see better. And whatever left of the brush I'm going to put on my lower lashes, but just a little bit and on the outer side of my, uh, of my eye. There's one thing we need to do, uh, and that's brows. I almost forgot them. And for brows, I'm gonna use my trusty Catrice Brow Colorist Semi-Permanent Brow Mascara. And as you might know, I always scrape off like almost everything that's on the brush, uh, because otherwise I feel like it's going on too bold. This is the reason why um, whenever my brow mascara is almost finished, I like them the best, because there's not a lot of product coming onto the brush. So I'm just gonna very, light-handed start from the inside and put it all the way through to the outside don't worry if it's um not like evenly uh divided because we're going to go through it with a spoolie so you just need the tiniest amount and now i'm going to take a spoolie 
and I'm gonna brush through them up and outwards and spread the products a little bit better and now they do look a little bit wild so sometimes I'll leave them like this but sometimes I'll go over them like very very light-handed and put the hairs a bit more in place and you might think hey we're missing something we're missing the lipstick i purposely don't put any lipstick on because we're gonna put the face mask on anyway so right now the only thing we need to do is take our face mask ma face mask by the ear loops gonna put the mask on around the ears and that's it I'm gonna take the mask off because otherwise you can't blush you can't hear me anymore so this is the finished makeup look i hope you loved watching it if you have any uh, video uh, product recommendations or videos you'd like to see leave them in the comments down below and give this video a like so uh, a, a like <laughs> thumbs up or a like if you like this video because then i can make more of them and like i said don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you're new here or if you haven't subscribed yet then don't forget also to hit that bell notification so you get a notification when a new video pops up and um, yeah I'll see you next time bye